Rest in peace matchmaking system in Wild Rift as well as my nerves, positivity and probably very soon my hope too. Why should I be so pessimistic? You are not losing all the time, right? Sometimes you get bad players. It's very normal. Yeah, sure. Although I don't know about you guys, but I get this so-called bad players in 80% of the games where I have to carry and try hard all alone, try not to die a single time and farm as much as I can to be able to 1v5 in the end of the game. Unfortunately, in the majority of cases, I just don't have enough time for that because my genius teammates would fight non-stop, overextend to the enemy turrets, die in 1v3, 4, 5 fights for no reason whatsoever, as well as ignoring objectives, split pushing where their team is literally falling apart, not listening to pings, and the list goes on. I know, ranked in Wild Rift especially, solo queue has never been perfect due to poor matchmaking, but this ranked season 10 is just beats all records. Do you remember what the devs said in one of their posts about ranked changes, I'll remind you. With the addition of the new rank, we're also making some adjustments to the other tiers to streamline the overall ranked experience so that everyone has a smoother and more competitive climb. Smoother and more competitive climb? You don't say. Not in the world would I call my climb smooth. And more competitive? Oh yeah, this I got for sure, but I thought that I will have to compete with my enemy team players and not with my own teammates. I never wanted wanted this kind of competition where everyone is trying to ruin every game with their bad decision making and poor skills. They don't belong to their ranks. I believe that when a player gets emerald, it should mean that he's aware of at least those stupid mistakes every noob makes and not make these mistakes again. This is how people grow. They learn from their mistakes, other people's mistakes, and eventually they get better. But if you continue doing stupid stuff, you should remain in platinum max. These kinds of players should should not be able to climb, but for some reason they are getting mastered, while good players are struggling to carry solo. I'm not even kidding, it was you who wrote it in the comments under my latest community post. Maybe you were joking with this comment though, but there is definitely a truth to it. I was demoted from Grandmaster to Emerald 3 when the new season started, and when I solo queued with other Emeralds, it meant that they were also ex-Grandmasters, or at least masters at minimum. But then why did they perform so badly. It still remains a secret for me, something I will never be able to understand. Just look at this huge downfall right at the beginning of my new ranked season. Unless they were all boosted, there was also one reason for it. What if all this was intentionally created by developers to kind of balance the players, you know? I mean, if you are an above average player, you will get a below average player on your team. And the better you play, the worst teammates you get in solo queue to balance the force, so to speak. But if you are a brain dead player who does some stupid stuff 24 7, you'll be matched with a try hard decent player who has a 6 plus KDA, undiagnosed depression, and a starting hatred for Wild Drift because of this unfair system. Maybe it sounds a bit like a conspiracy and has nothing to do with the actual reality, but it all at least somehow explains all this madness. I even sometimes get to the point where I think maybe I should start playing like a retard myself. Maybe then the reverse process will start and I will eventually get some good ranking climb, you know? I'm eager to see what is going on in Master and above in this season as I think if people manage to overcome this platinum diamond hell and not to go mad or quit the game, there are probably some very good, serious and mature folks out there. And I'm looking forward to being matched with them finally. I missed good players so much. You know, the ones you want to add to your friend list after a match, not because they carried your pathetic ass, but because you had so much fun and good connection with them during the game. I really miss those days. But they say hope dies last, so I'm gonna give it another try. Aiming for some big heights and not settling for the below average. If you made it to this point, it means you really do care. And I appreciate that. If you feel the same, please add me in the game and let's crush it together. You'll find my IGN in the description as well as the name of my guild and the Discord server. Let's stay connected and see you soon somewhere in the rift.